Hello everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I'm giving my passenger the boot. First off, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your continued support. So on today's video, I'm going to be addressing another item on my list of five things that I don't like about my Vitpillin 401. If you haven't seen that video yet, click up top to check it out. Let's go ahead and jump in. The item that I'm addressing today is the fact that I don't think that the 2019 and older Vitpillin 401 can host a passenger comfortably. Now, granted, if you're a small rider and have a small passenger, I'm sure you can make it work. But for somebody my size, having a passenger just doesn't work. So that part, honestly, Honestly, doesn't bother me too much because I don't like riding with passengers anyway and on top of that I'm teaching my wife how to ride her own bike so I don't need a passenger. What does bother me though is the fact that I have the extra weight and in my opinion the ugly look of the passenger foot peg brackets as well as the entire seat looking super long when only one person is sitting on it so I want to go ahead and address that. Thought process here is that if I'm not gonna have passengers anyway I might as well remove the passenger foot pegs along with the brackets to save some weight and to provide a cleaner look. Also because the seat is so long and I'm not using it I want to cover up the back end of it as well to have it match the bike a little bit better. Because of that, today I'm installing a passenger delete kit as well as a passenger seat cover. Let's go ahead and take a look at the install. Let's start with the non-exhaust side. This side is super simple as there is nothing to install, just parts to remove. First, you want to grab a Torque T40 size bit and then you want to remove these two bolts that are holding the passenger bracket and peg in place. Once you unscrew them, the entire piece comes off and that's it. There is nothing left to do and the non-exhaust side is all done. From there, we will go over to the exhaust side. This side is different as the exhaust hanger connects to the passenger peg bracket currently and is the part that needs to be replaced. This is again very simple. You take a 13 millimeter wrench and the same T40 bit from before and you unscrew the exhaust hanger bolt. Once you remove the bolt, the exhaust will stay in place because of the bottom connection but it's ready to be moved around. Now to be fair, you can actually do this install without completely removing the exhaust as you can just remove this top part but I'm choosing to remove the whole thing as it will give you a better view for the video. Okay, once the top is removed, we work our way down to the bottom. The V-band like exhaust exhaust clamp is super simple to remove as all it takes is one allen wrench. If I remember correctly, it's a size 7. You unscrew this bolt and the collar comes off. Once you've done that, the entire exhaust can be removed. Next, you want to remove the exhaust hanger bracket from the passenger peg bracket by removing these two bolts. Again, these two bolts use the same T40 bit. Make sure you save this bracket as we will be reusing it. Next, just like on the other side of the bike, you want to use the same T40 bit to remove the two screws that hold the passenger peg bracket in place. Once you've done that, you can now see where the delete kit piece will go. As you can see in the comparison, it is a lot smaller than the original part as it does not need the section that the passenger peg part goes on, but it is long enough for the exhaust hanger. To install this part, just reuse the original two screws that you use the T40 bit to remove from the original passenger peg bracket and tighten it down nice and tight. Once you have done that, you are ready to reattach the exhaust hanger bracket. The bracket itself is reused, but in this case, I don't reuse the hardware as I will instead use the hardware that came with the kit. The new screws are a size 5 Allen key. I want to ahead and tighten them down and I'm now ready to slide the exhaust back into the hanger. Once it's back in, I can go ahead and finger tighten it, but not tighten it all the way as I may need to adjust the position when I end up installing the V-band clamp again. The V-band clamp is fairly simple. You put the two exhaust pieces together so they are flush and then put the clamp around them and tighten them with a size 7 Allen wrench. The screw is self-holding so you don't need to grab a second wrench or anything like that. Make sure it's nice and tight and it also helps to start the bike after the install to make sure it's seated right and sealed and that you don't have any exhaust leak out of that connection. Once that is done, you can go ahead and fully tighten the exhaust hanger. Here is what the final product should look like. Be sure to go through and double check each one of the bolts that I'm pointing to. As you can see, there's quite a lot that is removed in terms of the entire passenger peg bracket being gone, and it looks a lot cleaner and sleeker this way. Next, we are going to address the seat. I went ahead and purchased the Husqvarna factory passenger seat cover and went ahead and wrapped it to match its looks to my abstract camo wrap that the rest of the bike panels have. The install on it is super easy and quick too. All you have to do is push in the metal clamp looking bits into the holes and then place the plastic screws in and twist. That's basically it. Now the seat can be reinstalled. Here's the finished product while looking at the exhaust side. It's quite a different look. The seat cover and the passenger peg delete kit complement each other quite nicely. I think the passenger delete kit looks really good on this bike and I'm really happy with the results. That marks one more item off of my list of five things that I don't like about my Vitpillin 401 and brings my Vit one step closer to being exactly how I want it. That's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by and checking it out. If you liked it, hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed, Hit the subscribe button as well as it does help the channel out quite a bit. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.